Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Christine with Powder Crafts. And today I'm here making a card using the Art Impressions stamp set called Sleigh Bells. This is part of a design team project for Scrapping for Less. This stamp set is available in their shop and I will leave a link in the description below. So today's card, I wanted to use both the reindeer image and the Santa in his sleigh image for this card. Um, but both of those images are a really good size and they're not going to both fit on just a standard A2 card base. So I needed to make this card three and a half inches tall by nine inches wide. So this is going to be like my focal point, the panel in which my images sit on. And I wanted to make kind of a night sort of sky, but not too dark, kind of like just before Santa would be getting ready to go deliver all the presents to the good boys and girls of the world. So I'm using some distress ink and the first one there, that is stormy sky. Now I couldn't decide between the faded jeans and the chipped sapphire, so I'm kind of using both of those and I end up using chipped sapphire. Um, you see me using the faded jeans here, but this is um, the only layer of faded jeans there's going to be. Um, so lay that down a little bit and now I'm going to pull in the chipped sapphire. trying to focus more along the outside and the sides of this card. Um, I don't want it to be too dark in the middle there, kind of where Santa and his reindeer will be featured, at least in my mind, that's where they're going to be. And then I'm going back here with the stormy sky. Adding just a little bit more of the chipped sapphire. I really want to darken the edges of my paper. Um, I like that look. And then I'm just bringing in a little bit of black soot to again darken that edge and just make it a little dark just on those edges. Um, and then, then we're going to go ahead and put this aside. And we're going to let that dry until we do some heat embossing in a little bit. So I'm going to now bring in the images. I'm coloring Santa and his sleigh and the reindeer. Unfortunately, the rain, the coloring of the reindeer is cut out of the, out of filming. Um, I apologize for anyone who wanted to see that. Um, but I'm going to just put on a little bit of music while we color Santa and then we will be back.
where it cut out on the coloring for the reindeer but the reindeer were colored with pretty much the same types of or the same colors of markers as Santa and his sleigh so the stamp set has this snowflake stamp where there's four different snowflakes but they're all attached so I'm just gonna cut it apart that way I can use them separately and I'm going to heat emboss with some white embossing powder the snowflakes on here so it kind of looks like it's snowing a little bit so I'm using some Simon Says stamp. Um, it's their version of the Versa Mark ink. Um, we got it in one of the card kits. I was trying to be pretty delicate with these snowflakes so that the um, design would show, but it didn't work out. I think that has more to do with my embossing powder. I probably should have like a fine detail. This is just regular. Um, white embossing powder. I think if I had a fine detail white embossing powder, um, the design of these snowflakes would have turned out a little bit better. But they're so in the background, it, I, I don't even think anyone would notice. So now that I have the snowflakes stamped out, I'm going to bring in my heat tool and melt the embossing powder, one of my absolute favorite parts of heat embossing. And there we kind of have it. So here's my card base and I have a piece of uh, some glitter cardstock. This is from Recollections. It's like this big 12 by 12 pack I got last year. Um, I don't really know if there's a name for this pack. It, it was part of the Christmas pattern papers. Adding some foam tape to the back of my panel. I should have waited till I, you know, got everything together to put the foam tape on, but it did not hinder putting together this card. So from that same glitter paper pad that I had that blue glitter paper, I also have this white glitter paper. So I'm using that for my snow banks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and center this on my card base. And here's our Santa and reindeer. Now, I do take out the action wobbler and I am leaving this in. Um, I thought it would be fun to put Santa on an action wobbler as he's kind of like maybe being pulled through the sleigh. It did not really work. And you will see me eventually take him off the action wobbler. I try real hard to make it work, but my action wobblers are small. So it was too small for this image. And while I'm looking at this, Santa and his reindeer, like the reindeer can't pull his sleigh if they're not, you know, attached. So I do bring in some of this 
gold and white. It's kind of um, like baker's twine, but it's super thick. Um, I'm sorry, my head gets in the way a lot right here. Um, I wanted it to look like he was holding the rope. So I cut a little slit in his um, hand where his thumb would be and put this twine in the little slot there so it looks like he's holding it. And then I'm going to grab a glue dot to put this on the reindeer's harness. And then once I have that down, I realize the wobbler part really isn't going to be able to wobble because he's attached and it wasn't really working out a ton anyway. So I decided to just add some foam tape and we're not going to make this an action type card. <laughs> it, it was a good thought. If I had maybe a larger action wobbler and I wasn't going to have him attached to the reindeer, it would be better. But I'm pretty happy with how it came out anyway. I just used a white gel pen to add a little bit more dots for some small snowflakes. Using a black glaze pen here for the rope that his jingle bells are on. Add a little black to the reindeer eyes. Adding a red nose to one of our reindeer. And then I come in also with some diamond stickles for the white furry part of his coat and hat. Adding a little wink of Stella to our jingle bells. And I believe that is going to do it for this card. Thank you all so, so much for joining me today and watching this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos and you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, everyone, bye.